Okay, uh, I've been work I've been working on implementing the component-based entity system, which I'm still kind of learning about, so I don't know if I'm doing it the best way possible. But uh, we'll take a look. Basically, well, I guess we should look at the entity manager because this is where basically all happens. Okay, so um, what happens is this is just a singleton class that handles all components and entities and a component is something you can add to an entity but the entity doesn't hold them the entity manager does uh, it's kinda hard to explain but basically uh, you use the components and you put them into a system and that system updates the components and it just helps helps keep you away from getting into a hierarchy of pain um, so I'll show you how it's set up. It, I don't need these base classes, but I mean it's kind of nice, I guess, to have a couple. But because the way I found it, I found it easiest to do. Since this is all gonna be just built into a library anyway, and I'm just gonna like use it. I don't. I'm just gonna like have a pointer to the system, and the system every system is gonna hold a vector of components that belongs to it, like rendering component belongs to the rendering system obviously. And how it's used is here's how I do it. Basically I just get my so managers and entity manager and renderer is a uh rendering system. Basically I set the window to the render that get window because uh, the window is originally in the render window and I created player which is an entity every object in the game is going to be an entity and then I add a component to it and I add rendering which I set up and you know if you want them to be animated you make an animation component in system and add animation to them and you can you can add whatever you want and if you don't add rendering he won't get rendered and that's what I do. This is just a, uh, it's just an idea. I was seeing if it would work, and obviously it will. I put a pointer to the address of the image, and that's how you get it. You do player dot get component, and then you do what the actual type of the component and the name of it, so it can find it in the vector, and then the function, whatever function you want to use. And so I just set the image, and then I can do image load cool dot ping which is just a blue square and image dot move 2020 and then while the window is open I get the event and if the event is quit obviously just some SDL stuff and then the render dot execute which let's see if I can't find it right here rendering system render ring okay so execute which is right here I clear the window, I go through all the components and all the rendering components, hold an image, and I render the image to the window. And actually, it's not, I don't actually need this window parameter right now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the camera to the window and it's basically going to get the offset so it can render the image at the correct location depending on the camera offset. And I'm just trying to think about how I'm gonna get the um what's it called the components and systems to communicate with each other for like in animation I'm gonna wanna update the image inside the rendering system and uh well that'll be a journey. So uh, can't wait to take it. Um I guess we can run it. I don't think I changed anything so I hope it won't have to compile. Okay. Blah blah blah. Air, no warning, warning. Only two warnings, but I hate warning so much. All right. And as you see, did exactly as we said. It loaded this blue square, and I moved it. 2020. And it's an entity. What does the entity class contain? I'll show you. Does the entity contain any uh? Does the entity contain any components? 
Nope. Does the entity contain... It just contains an ID and a pointer to the manager, which there's only one. So basically the entity class is actually really small. It's only four bytes. So... Um... Yeah. So creating entities... I guess obviously the components and stuff so I guess it's probably the same thing except for you won't have unnecessary stuff such as uh let's say you know obviously you know Elysian Shadows and stuff they're doing this and so you won't have if if you have a class that doesn't need some stuff that you have to have so you want to inherit from a base class and this class this new class doesn't need everything from the base class you'll just be wasting space and this it just allows you to be able to go in and once you get all your systems and stuff set up you don't have to make like a billion classes like AK-47 class you can just make uh... an entity and have it inherit from the gun component and then kind of customize it a little bit and it's pretty easy it's easier than going and making a class for every object in the game so I'm hoping that it'll work out well let's hope it doesn't backfire on me and I wish I would have gone my old style but alright see ya